everyone, welcome to this Make a Medic tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the differences between upper and lower motor neuron lesions. So the main purpose of this tutorial is just to try and clarify the pathway that the motor system takes all the way from the motor cortex down to the muscles that it innervates. So by visualizing a simple, clear diagram of the motor pathway, we can figure out what types of pathology will cause upper or lower motor neuron lesions. So here we have the cerebral cortex and I've divided it down the middle so we can easily visualize which side is right and left and see exactly when the pathway crosses the midline. So we have the primary motor cortex which is situated in the frontal lobe but right at the posterior most aspect of the frontal lobe just anterior to the central sulcus. Then further down, at the bottom of the brainstem, we have the medulla, and within the medulla, we have the pyramids. And if we keep going down, we have the spinal cord, and from the spinal cord will emerge the peripheral nerves that go on to innervate our muscles. So the upper motor neurons originate in the primary motor cortex. They travel downwards towards the pyramids within the medulla, and they are called the pyramids because they are essentially a convergence of various upper motor neurons forming this upside down pyramid type shape. So it will cross the midline at the medulla and it'll travel down the corticospinal tract in the spinal cord and it will eventually synapse with the lower motor neuron within the anterior horn at the level at which the lower motor neuron exits the spinal cord. So the lower motor neuron will then go and innervate a skeletal muscle. So based on this diagram, we can think about which types of diseases would cause upper motor neuron patterns. So things that affect the brain itself, such as a stroke or a space occupying lesion, such as a brain hemorrhage or a tumor can cause upper motor neuron signs. Similarly, there are certain subtypes of motor neuron disease that primarily affect upper motor neurons. And multiple sclerosis is a condition that's characterized by demyelination of upper motor neurons. So the signs of upper motor neuron disease tend to be characterized by excessive tone and excessive reflexes. So this is thought to occur due to the interruption of certain descending motor tracts which are able to moderate stretch reflexes. So if we sever these tracts it leads to a massive increase in the amplitude of our reflexes and that's why Patients with diseases affecting upper motor neurons will have increased tone, increased reflexes, and a few other signs such as upgoing planters and pronated drift. Diseases that affect lower motor neurons include, again, other types of motor neuron disease, trauma, and more rarely now, polio. The manifestations are sort of the opposite, so you get reduced tone, reduced reflexes, you get marked muscle atrophy, and you also get unregulated erratic contraction of bundles of muscle fibers called fasciculations.